The movie begins with a homeless man named James who currently works as a street busker. However, no one cares about his performance and not even a single pedestrian gives him money for the tuneless song he sings. He sometimes searches for food from the trash bin, and eats leftovers given to him as he has no money left. It turns out that James is a former heroin addict. When one of his addict friends Baz, is looking for a nearby drug dealer, James ignores him and keeps walking to a restaurant where he orders a three pounds food for dinner, but he doesn't have enough money to pay for the meal. He offers to sing a song, but gets expelled by the waiter as he throws the food in a sink full of water. Later, he meets Baz again who is sitting inside an unlocked car and offers him drugs. Desperated, he eventually takes the drugs and gets high. The next day, everyone including the rightful car owner, is shocked when they see James laying unconscious because of overdose. Later, he recovers and is discharged from the hospital. He meets Val, a rehabilitation consultant, who warns him about his current condition and offers to help him. She prescribes him methadone and requires him to visit her every two weeks. After that, he continues his boring life as a homeless and nomad man. Meanwhile, Val manages to get him into council housing, after convincing the lady that James is persistent in becoming clean from drugs, and the only way to support it is by getting off the street for a while. Not long after, he is very happy after knowing that he doesn't need to live on the street again, but he has to comply with Val's term to stay on the rehabilitation program, and won't miss a single meeting with her. That night while enjoying his shower, he hears a strange noise outside the bathroom. James panics, but it turns out that it is a cute ginger cat looking for food. He feels connected with the cat and offers him some milk. After that, the cat refuses to go out and chooses to stay with James. The next day, James attempts to find the owner of the cat, but it seems like the cat belongs to no one, so he just lets him go. He then continues busking on the street when he accidentally meets his father. It is revealed that James has been estranged from his family for years. His father has married to another woman Hillary, who doesn't like the presence of James. She doesn't even allow James to come to their house during Christmas. Left with no option, the father gives his son some money and walks away. He then returns home and finds the cat has been waiting for him outside his room, this time with a purulent wound on his body. He calls his neighbor Betty, who is an animal lover, who suggests James go to a local charity vet to treat the wound. Betty loves the cat and decides to name him Bob. He immediately brings Bob to the vet where they have to wait for a very long time. Later, Bob is treated and James has to pay £22 for the medicine with all the money given by his father earlier. As expected, ginger cats are naughty and Bob refuses to consume the medicine, but somehow he obeys Betty and finally is willing to consume it. Afterward, Betty shares that she is 100% anti-drug and hates drug addicts. James is aware of this and lies to her about his current condition. The following day, he comes to Val who is very disappointed as James missed the appointment yesterday due to bringing Bob to the vet. He tells her about Betty and his feelings toward her, but Val prohibits James from getting into a relationship since his current unstable emotional condition. At some point, James feels bored and tempted to buy drugs again, but luckily he has Bob who accompanies him all the time. Bob is then castrated and is given a shield to prevent him from licking the stitches. He is uncomfortable with it and begs James to take it off, which he does. The next day, James sets Bob free before going to work. However, the cat keeps following him, even sneaking into the bus that he takes. Left with no option, James uses his shoelace as a leash and eventually brings Bob with him. Surprisingly, Bob attracts the crowd, who asks to take a picture with him. Also thanks to Bob, now everyone loves watching James performing songs and a lot of pedestrians give him money. James is very happy since he has never collected such an amount of money while being a busker. A few moments later, an old lady approaches them and adores Bob so much, since her ginger cat has passed away. Since then, James has the opportunity to enjoy a decent life, and decides to keep Bob. He even buys Bob a proper cat harness. The next day, Baz shows up, begging for money. Feeling pity for him, James gives him several bucks and immediately walks away. 
James brings Bob again while busking and he attracts more pedestrians, meaning that he collects more money than before. Suddenly, the same old lady appears and gives Bob new cat food and scarf as Christmas gifts. That evening, he coincidentally meets Betty who invites him to dinner at her room. There, James asks Betty about her life, but she keeps avoiding the topic. Now James is capable of buying Bob more proper cat food. That evening, he accidentally finds Baz who is lying unconscious on the ground because of overdose. He immediately calls an ambulance, but unfortunately Baz later dies in the hospital. Later, Betty reveals that the room is her brother's place who also died because of overdosing. After hearing Betty's story and Baz's death, James is more dedicated to get clean from drugs. It's Christmas and James and Betty start to become romantically attached. They decorate the room and celebrate Christmas together with Bob. Betty presents James with a very beautiful painting which is her deceased brother's work. After that, they go on a date, and James shares to Betty about his intention to visit his father on New Year's Eve. The day has come and James comes to his father's house. It turns out that the father now also has daughters Pre and Faith. James brings Bob with him, but Bob creates chaos at the house, destroying a vase and a Christmas tree. The cat also triggers a fight between James's father and his new wife. The following day while busking, a dog randomly takes a piss on James's guitar case which triggers an argument between James and the dog owner. Everything becomes chaos and James gets arrested because of creating a mess. Although proven innocent, James is banned from busking for six months. Val immediately orders him to go to a drugstore to get his methadone. Unfortunately while consuming the medicine, Betty spots him and is very upset as he has lied to her about his condition. Desperate as he currently has no source of income, he applies for the paper sales job. The woman reminds him to sell the paper only in his own territory. James agrees with the term and starts selling the papers in his territory. As expected, Bob manages to draw the crowd to buy the paper, while they get the opportunity to take a picture with the cat. One of the crowd even proposes to write a story about him and the cat. Suddenly a couple approaches James and Bob in another paper seller's territory and demands to buy the paper after taking photos with the cat. The envious seller accuses James for poaching, even though he doesn't. Because of that, James is prohibited from selling the paper for one month. James tries to reconcile with Betty, but she refuses to talk with him. James is short of cash, but he chooses to buy food for the cat rather to fulfill his hunger. At some point, since he is jobless now, James really runs out of money and has to pick out food from the trash bin again. The next day, he illegally begins busking again, but in other places until Betty finds him and warns him to comply with the prohibition or he will get arrested. Both of them then get into an argument and Betty wants to end their relationship. One month has passed and now James is allowed to sell papers again. While marketing the papers, a rude woman approaches them and attempts to buy Bob. James politely rejects the offer, but the woman keeps begging until he gets fed up. Bob suddenly runs away and James tries to chase after him, but loses him afterward. Bob doesn't return for two days, which makes James devastated. On the other side, the lady who appeared at the beginning of the movie, learns that Bob and James become viral on an online video sharing platform, and comes up with an idea to write a book about them. Back to James, losing Bob almost makes him want to get back to becoming a drug addict. But somehow Bob suddenly returns to the house and he withdraws the intention. The following day, James visits Val, telling her that he is ready to come off the methadone. He then apologizes to Betty who eventually forgives him and supports him for the upcoming process. Indeed, the journey is not easy. He suffers grueling and torturing withdrawal symptoms, but after a week, the symptoms are all gone and James is now officially clean from drugs. He visits Betty, only to find out that she is moving out of the housing as she wants to start a new chapter of her life. She reveals her real name and gives James her new address, hoping that he will visit her someday. After that, James meets the lady and her team, discussing the book she wanted to write. He also reconciles with his dad who reveals that he kept distance from James, because he was ashamed of failing to become a good father. At the end of the movie, everyone including Betty, his father, 
and Val are celebrating James's book launch where he expresses his gratitude towards everyone who has been supporting him. Since then, James and Bob start a new page of their life together. Subscribe for more videos, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.